Hello everyone, today I want to show you a new automatic bridge builder. So here we have a smooth stone generator and a flying machine that picks up the blocks, transport it over, where the blocks are grabbed by the other flying machine here, which later would form yeah, this bridge. This would work infinitely, but of course those systems always have a downside. The distance between the smooth stone generator yeah, and the drop-off point always increases by one block each iteration. So in order to deal with that problem, I thought it would make sense to move the smooth stone generator with the machine. But this has a little downside, namely that you can't move uh, liquids. Technically you could move water by using armor stands and frosted ice, but there's absolutely no way to automatically move lava. Anyway, um, so let's stop this machine. So we can move the smooth stone generator. So we do this just by placing an obsidian block here, it would stop the next time. Then let's quickly remove, remove the liquids just by placing a block or using a bucket. So the last stones are getting picked up. And now I have a flying machine here in the back that moves the whole generator forwards. So here I use the start stop engine I showed recently, which is quite useful in this case. So we move over. Move this part forwards and then you can stop it again. Okay, now the system is closer. All you gotta do is place another water source here and lava on top. And you can start this machine again. So I didn't make a yeah, more sophisticated uh, start mechanism again. So I just had to place an observer here, remove the obsidian, give this an update and it would start up again. But um, when you're done, you can remove the, obs uh, the observer again. This design is a little bit more complicated than similar concepts because of the feature that we can move the smooth stone generator and because of that also can't use any redstone dust repeaters for the timings. Also, we have to pull those blocks out of the way of the smooth stone generator to make sure that it doesn't collide with anything. But overall, if you want to yeah, make a long walkway AFK in survival, I guess this machine is preferable uh, because you can move it. So once this flying machine would have to move a thousand blocks, then you really notice a difference because I would just recommend to yeah, move the smooth stone generator every 50 to 100 blocks and this way it wouldn't slow down too much. What came in very handy was Eater's self-returning flying machine mechanism. So you can see there's a trapdoor that only gets activated if the flying machine collides with something and can't move forwards anymore. So basically this part here is above the push limit because you can't push all of that towards the right and yeah, it would collide, trapdoor gets activated and the flight direction is reversed. I'll also link uh, Eater's video in the description. It's a very useful design. It will be useful in a lot of other contraptions as well. The design has a little flaw which is caused by a bug. Random ticks can affect the flowing speed of liquids. So the smooth stone generator, like many other smooth stone generators, could break if a random tick selects the lava block in the wrong moment. What could happen is normally water flows faster than lava. It flows every 5 game ticks, in contrast to the 30 game ticks that the lava needs to flow. But if a random tick selects the lava block while the water hasn't um, yeah, flown to this spot here, then we create cobblestone right here, which would break the smooth stone generator. So there's basically two options to avoid this. A would be making a, a complicated mechanism. Um, to avoid this issue, basically have the lava source a little bit higher and move some blocks in between to make sure that the water flows first and then remove them again. Um, but I thought this machine is already complicated enough. The easier solution is just to stand away from it. The random ticks since 1.9 only happen in a 8 chunk radius around the player. So if you stand 140 blocks away from this machine, then you don't have any random ticks at the lava and that's yeah, make sure that um, both the lava and water flow as intended. 
Okay, I think I mentioned everything. Now to the tutorial, you can find a material list in the video description. So I want to start by building this part here and the smooth stone generator last. So let's head over here. We need two sticky pistons facing in opposite directions, like this. Then add slime box here and also downwards. Then we can add an observer here. And for now, let's quickly block this with removal blocks so the pistons don't activate. Now add Observer here, and another one on this side, and add the trapdoor here. Okay, then add two more blocks right here, and upwards facing observer. Can okay, move this again, and add a sticky piston here. Three slime looks like this. Then servers facing that direction, pointing into the slime blocks, and sticky pistons on top. Okay, so now we need a solid block right here, sticky piston on top, and then a slime block here, observer on top, sticky piston, slime block, observer, sticky piston, then this shape here, and here we need a downwards facing observer, this would actually activate the sticky piston, you can prevent it by placing an obsidian there, and removing it again. Then a sticky piston here and an observer. Now add three, three blocks like this, downwards facing sticky pistons. Then observer to power them, another one here. Normal piston facing the direction. And a slime block here, observer on top, sticky piston. And now it's a little bit repetitive. So again, three sticky pistons. Server facing downwards, server on top, sticky piston, and once more. And the server facing downwards. Now let's head over to the normal piston. And we need to add six line blocks that look like this. There's one here. Then downwards facing of server, a bit hard to place. Can try it from this side, so face downwards as well. And then a normal piston again, also downwards facing observer here. Also downwards facing observer on top of the slime block, sticky piston, and then slime blocks like this. And two more right here, and here, normal block. Okay, so this part is pretty much done. Um, for now, let's place an obsidian block here, and yeah, should be good. Now let's head over to the normal piston, and we need to add six line blocks that look like this. There's one here. Then downwards facing observer, a bit hard to place. You can try it from this side, so face downwards as well. And then a normal piston again. Also downwards facing observer here. Also downwards facing observer on top of the slime block, sticky piston, and then slime blocks like this. And two more right here, and here another block. Okay, so this part is pretty much done. Um, for now, let's place an obsidian block here, and yeah, should be good. So the next part is the smooth stone generator. We need a distance of six blocks in between. Four, five, six. Move those again. And now add two more blocks in the side. Let's fill this up. And here we can use slabs. And a slime block here. Normal blocks on the side. Iron trapdoors on the top. It's just so you can easily place the water and lava. Same on the other side. Doors. Then a slime block here, normal blocks on the side, piston in front, slabs here, then sticky, uh, a slime block, redstone block on top, and normal blocks on the side. Now we can add the water here directly under the piston, and the lava in front of the piston, and make our smooth stone. Okay. Then here in the back, we need 
three slime blocks. Observers that power them. Then add piston on top and bottom and on the side. Then add another slime block here and a redstone block on top. This is the piston that pushes everything. Okay, so the last thing that I want to add is a flying machine to push the smoothstone generator forwards. I'll put it a little bit on the side here so we get a better overview when you need to stop it. So I'll just add those slime blocks here, put a redstone block on top and a piston right here. Then a slime block there, like this. Then need a detector rail and a normal rail. And a sticky piston and a minecart on top of the detector rail for now. Then we need a cobble wall on this side and right here. So block powering the sticky piston and another slime block right there and here. And then another normal piston right there and an observer. Okay, so now we could move this forwards, but of course we need to activate this first. So in order to activate the machine, as I've shown before, you want to place an observer right here, powering the sticky piston. Remove the obsidian or non a block in the back and just give it an update. Okay, you can move the starting mechanism again. And this should hopefully work. All right, so I hope this machine works for you. Of course, keep in mind that the smoothstone generator might break if you stand too close, which is a little bit annoying. Hope that Mojang fixes it. Also, I want to put a, a bug report in the video description. Uh, also, I have plans to build a complete platform builder. So instead of having a three wide walkway, make a platform that is in theory infinitely wide or tileable, but it's a little bit more complicated. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.